In this video, we will see how to create a simple token on the Ethereum blockchain. So without further ado, let's get started. A token is a smart contract. A smart contract is a script, a small computer program that is stored and is executed on the Ethereum blockchain. Smart contracts on Ethereum are usually written in a programming language called Solidity. At its core, a token is just a mapping of a user address to a number. The number corresponds to the amount of tokens that a specific user owns. To draw a parallel with the real world, a token smart contract would store something that identifies a user, for instance its email address, to an integer, the token amount. In this example, we could simply write that owns 1000 tokens and Alice owns 2000 tokens. However, Ethereum user accounts are represented by hexadecimal numbers, so it would look something like that. But let's code a simple smart contract on Ethereum. First, we will declare our intention to write a contract, then we'll call it my token. We'll open and close the body of the contract. This is where all the variables and all the functionalities of your contract will live. Then let's create a mapping. For those who are familiar with programming, it works like a hash map or a dictionary. For those who are not familiar with programming, a mapping allows to associate some data with some other data. For instance, a user account to an integer number representing tokens. So that way we can represent the ownership of a token by a certain address. Now let's create a function that will allow to mint tokens at a given address. So if we take the example with Alice, you should understand it like that. Then we'll create a second function and this function will allow to transfer tokens from one address to another, for instance, from Bob to Alice. So if we want to transfer 500 tokens from Bob to Alice, that would be something like that. Of course, Alice is not a variable. We need to abstract that. Let's then make the mapping public so everyone can consult it. Otherwise it's private. And also let's restrict that function to mint tokens so that only one user can mint the tokens and that will be the owner. So we'll declare that user beforehand and we'll require that the message sender, so the, f the person calling that function is the owner. We just need to add one last thing and that's the version of Solidity we want to use for that contract and that will be version 0.4.24. That's it, you have a very simple and working token smart contract. If you like this content, don't hesitate to subscribe and share it on the social medias.